Morrissey from Behavior and Beyond, where we bring you realistic ideas for the real life behaviors you face. This is Dr. Marcy Ask Me Anything. It's a time where I slow down and answer questions about challenging behavior. It can be really hard to ask for help or hard to admit the behavior challenges you're facing. So here's my promise. You send me your toughest, most puzzling behavioral questions, and I'll answer it without sharing any of your personal information. Sound like a plan? Well, let's see who sent me a question this time. Oh, it's a mother, and she says, how do I get my older sibling, seven, to not overreact to situations when his younger brother, five years old, the little, the little one bumps into him and it's zero to 60 screaming for something that was a small problem. Great question. Siblings can be so tricky and it's something that I talk to families about often because one sibling often seems to be the instigator. Now, I am a fan of occasionally letting your small beings fight it out. What would happen if we didn't intervene? Sometimes small beings get into conflict when they don't know what to do with each other or they don't know how to entertain themselves and they know as soon as their conflict, you're gonna come running. So if you don't go in and intervene, what will happen? Is it possible that your small beings fighting is actually an attention seeking behavior? If that's the case, you have to do one of two things. One, give them more attention before the behavior problems start. So checking in on them every seven to 10 minutes rather than letting them play and having conflict every 15. Or when they do end up having a fight, not interrupting, not going in, continuing to do what you do and letting them work it out. Now, In this particular situation where the older sibling is usually getting really upset, my suggestion is to not assume that nothing happened and not assume that one sibling versus the other did something wrong. Don't make assumptions. It ends up with us pigeonholing our kids into one being the troublemaker and one being okay. And that's never the truth. So if you didn't see it, don't worry about what happened. We get really curious as adults about, well, what happened and who did what to whom? Let all of that go and just focus on the right now. Are you okay? Are you okay? As long as both of your siblings are physically, not your siblings, your children, are physically okay, say, okay, well, so now what do you need to do? And put the ball back in their court, especially with a five and seven year old. They're old enough to talk through the challenges. Let them articulate what they need articulate what's going on. If your seven-year-old is just gonna scream, well, there's not much we can do about that. So I would tell him, look, when you stop yelling, I'll help you. And then stop talking to him until he actually does stop yelling. Teach your children to problem solve with, with each other rather than you coming in and being the solution to their problems. It's a big way to build independence, to build good social and play skills for your small beings because they get to practice the most with each other, but it's the same skills that they would use with other kids. So make sure that they're practicing that at home and teaching them to figure it out for themselves rather rather than always coming to you for help. I hope that, you know, sibling challenges can be such a large topic. So I hope that this little start of information has been helpful for you. If you keep checking out my blog, there might be more sibling insights this month for you. So if you haven't signed up yet, head on over to my website and sign up for my newsletter for more sibling tidbits and general behavioral insights that I send out every week. My website is www.behaviorandbeyond.net. And I know there are so many ways that you can spend your time that you are always so busy, that I am grateful and appreciate you taking the time to join me here at Dr. Marcy Ask Me Anything. And if you have a question, send it my way. I would love to answer it. You can send it to info at behaviorandbeyond.net. Put in the subject line question for Dr. Marcy Ask Me Anything so we make sure to answer your question here. And remember, subscribe below. Blue skies are ahead, 
Let's get there together.